Hello everyone, welcome to Sewing Wednesday. I'm doing something a little different today. I'm in my sewing room and I'm fixing to make a little needle book and I wanted to show you guys how I'm going to do it. I've never made one exactly like this one before so we'll just um, see how it turns out. I did make this one a while back, um, this little needle book, which is really simple. It's just got a piece of flannel in here that I put in here to hold my needles. And on this one, I put a really stiff um, batting, not batting, but, um, oh, what's the word I'm trying to think of? That fusible um, interfacing. That's what I'm trying to think. It's an interfacing, but it's really stiff. And I thought, well, I don't want it to be really stiff, this, this one I'm going to make. So I'm going to be using flannel instead. So I'll have to see how that works. So anyway, so this is my example I'm kind of using um, to make this one. But this is a little chick I made. Um, this is one of the freebies I showed you guys earlier on one of my floss tube um, videos. And I thought it would be a good size to make a needle book with. So I went on and folded it so this would be centered. And I cut, this is how much was left o over on the side. So I cut it off. And I went on ahead and zigzagged the edges again uh, where I cut that off just to make sure it doesn't unravel while I'm sewing with it. So I want to go over to the sewing machine in a minute and I want to add some lace to the front. Let me open this up. I've, I pressed it so it has a crease and I'm going to add some lace. Like I'm putting a straight edge on the bottom here. Lace right here on the bottom. I think that would look so pretty and some on the top. Um, I'll put the straight edge along the edge right here like that. So isn't that pretty? So I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go over to my sewing machine. I'm going to sew this on and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I hope I get this project done. My sewing machine was acting up, so I was, had a hard time sewing. So anyway, hopefully I can finish this. I got the um, lace trimmed not trimmed, um, sewn on there. And I did cut it um, so it would be a little bit longer on each side. So I'm going to trim that up a little bit, a little bit closer to the edge here. Oh gosh, this is so adorable. Hope it turns out. Like I say, I'm trying a new way of doing this. And I hope my sewing machine stops acting up too. I don't need that to be happening. So anyway, I've got this piece of flannel because it needs some kind of body since I'm not using the interfacing. And um, so I thought I would just put the flannel in between the inside here. And I think it's gonna give it some, you know, some body. So my next step is I've creased the um, center that this this is the inside of this and I'm going to actually go over to the sewing machine and I'm going to attach the batting to the back of this so and I'm going to sew it right down the center and I want pockets also let's just talk about the inside for a minute I want pockets also for this so my plan is I've got this pretty piece of lace and I'm going to sew it along the bottom here, and that'll be a little pocket. And then I got some flannel, or you can use uh, felt. I actually cut out a piece of felt right here, and I had some pink flannel also, and I'm going with the flannel, because it's a little bit more, um, it's not as stiff as the felt, but you could use felt if you wanted to. And I wanna, while I'm over the sewing machine, I'm gonna sew this down to attach the flannel, I'm going to sew this across to attach the lace. And then I'm going to sew it one more time down to attach this to the center. All right, so let's go see how that works. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got it all sewn together. I did the flannel, sewed it down the center. I went along the edge, um, sewed the lace on, which is going to be our pockets. And then I put the flannel, went down the center again, and caught that lace. So 
going to have two sides. So we have two pockets, one on each side. So anyway, um, I'm glad my sewing machine is still working. I think it may be the needle. It's really having a hard time with the lace and the Ada cloth, but, but just the plain fabric and the flannel, it didn't have any problem. It's making a little noise when I do this, so maybe the needle's dull. I don't know. Hopefully, I can get through this video without having to change my needle. So, all right, next, I'm going to trim this um, extra lace off here on each side. Oh, gosh, this is going to be so cute. I hope. Cross my fingers. Hopefully, it, plan it turns out the way I've got it planned in my head. All right, I've got this little, this is velvet ribbon, ribbon, and um, got it from my stash. And these are going to be my ties. I want to have ties on each side so I can close it, tie it up. So um, I'm going to just attach it like in the center here. I'm just eyeballing it. Well, let me get a pin. Hold on, let me go get my pin. Okay, let me get a couple of pins here. And I'm just going to put that there. And put this here. Oh, look at that pin. It's all bent up. That one's going in the trash after this video. Huh. Oh, it's hard to use a bent pin. All right, let me see. It's not even laying down right. Does that look center? This one needs to move down a little bit more. Okay, well, I'm going over to the sewing machine. I'm just going to um, do a, like a little running edge right here just to uh, attach this ribbon on each side. All right, I'll be right back. Hang in there. Okay, I've got the ribbon sewed on the side, so we're almost finished. So let me trim a little bit of this thread off here. Alrighty, next, if this works out the way I think it's going to work out, we're going to put right sides together, right sides facing each other. Make sure everything's laying down flat in here. I tell you what, I gotta make sure that this lace is laying down flat when I go. You know what, should I sew this down before I do that? Hmm. I wonder if I should. Or should I just wrap it? I think I'll just leave it like that. I think it'll work out. Make sure they're just laying down. Yep. Alrighty. Let's get my pin cushion. You guys know I'm working on that um, cross stitch called Harrietta from... Um, um, Brenda Gervais patterns. Uh, so, but I wanted to show you, this is Henrietta. <laughs> Isn't that the cutest? Can you see it? It's a pin cushion I made. It's one of my favorite pin cushions. So anyway, this is Henrietta. And she's full of emery, which is that stuff that sharpens pins. But I didn't realize that you don't put it in the whole pin cushion when I made her because um, it can dull your pins if you're using it constantly. So, anyway, I don't use her very often, but she's still one of my favorites. There was a time I was making pin cushions like mad. So, oh, I hope my sewing machine sews this because it's kind of thick. So what I want to do, I want to take it over there and I'm going to sew all the way around the edges and I'm going to leave like this much on the side, like an inch and a half open so I can turn it inside out. So let's see how this turns out. I'll be right back. Bye. 
Oh, not bye. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, you guys, I'm back. What a job. I made the opening too little, so I had to cut some of the threads and open it up wider because I couldn't turn it inside out. So I turned it inside out, and it's a wrinkled mess. But I think it's going to work. I think it's going to be so cute. I'm trying to get these corners poked out a little bit more. Um, I need to find my little stick that I have that's for the corners. But anyway, I'm going to go look for that real quick. And in the meantime, while I'm looking for that, I'm going to um, get my iron all plugged in and ready to go. And I'm going to give this a press. Press it really good. Get some of the wrinkles out. And then after that, I'm, I'll be right back. All right. Hang in there with me. Okay, I went and pressed it. And I almost burnt it. The day is just not... You know, you have one of those days. Well, the day's one of those days. Anyway, what happened was, it was my lace. It's so delicate. And I put it on too hot and it stuck to my lace. Oh, well, I think it's going to be okay. It's just got a little brown spot there. Maybe I can get some soap and water and get that off. But anyway, I think it's going to work. I know it's going to work. See, I got some on there, too. Hmm. Oh, well. I'll get some soap and water and get that off, too. All right, the next step is what we're going to do. This is the opening I had over here. And I kind of folded that in and I pressed it so the seams are together like that. And I'm going to go to the sewing machine. I'm just going to run a little running stitch along the edge just to secure the front and the back together. So, and it'll make it look pretty. So I'll be right back. Almost done. We're almost done. Okay, I've gone and sewn around the edges. And when I went around this side where the opening was, it caught it and closed it up. So that looks nice. All right, you live and learn, right? I can tell right now the flannel was not the best option to go with because it's unraveling it looks like so if i did this again i would definitely use the felt probably but i've got some um fray stuff i can put on there for fraying i forgot what it's called and i'll just put some along the side here to keep that from um unraveling some more but like i said you live and learn so yeah that's going to be an issue so don't use flannel if you make this make just make um make sure you use felt all right and also um i had a little bit of trouble sewing through the bottom part here it was too thick uh, i think it's got to do with just the um, lace here and lace on the back here so just a heads up on that if you do make this you might want to do something a little bit thinner down here this is a very thick um, lace that I use so maybe something a little bit thinner you could use so but overall I think it turned out really cute don't you think and my little ties just gonna tie let me see I'll go press it again down like this so but let's just tie this up and there you have it a little needle book I'm thinking about put, putting this silk ribbon right here. I'm still thinking about it, but that's the plan. I think I'm going to just sew it on there like that. So that's darling. Okay, well, I hope you make one of these. Just remember some of the things I told you you can do and not do. I mean, um, like I said about the lace, make sure it's thinner and make sure you leave your opening a little bit more wider than I did. Um, so you can uh, turn it inside out and make sure you do not use the flannel. Go on ahead and use felt instead. If you do use the flannel, make sure you put the um, fray check, I think that's the name of it, around the edges so it doesn't unravel. All right? This is adorable. It's adorable. All right, you guys. Well, you have a blessed day, and I'll see you soon. All right, bye now.